Okie dokie! Well, morning everybody. Uh, it's cast time once again. And, um, let me preface this by saying there's going to be a fair amount of moving parts in this one. Um, so... So, yeah, just get ready for some mistakes. Uh, headphone wire not cooperating with me. There we go. Alright, but anyway, like I said, there's going to be a lot of, lot of moving parts on this one. So, don't be surprised if I end up goofing up somewhere. And the music... This is kind of a kind of an oddball. I listened to this uh, yesterday. This is called Harul Vene uh, Barari Gat and an instrumental version. Okay. So let me go ahead and get that going. <sighs> okay, but um like yesterday, uh, or like before I didn't I didn't do a Sunday stream um just I was still um I was still busy putting the uh, finishing touches on my apartment um I was working on cleaning up my bedroom and then vacuuming the floor and all that and then I mean I think I laid down I tried to lay down for like a two or three hour nap but it just wasn't happening I was just tossing and turning the entire time um, but, oh, I'm gonna, I'm also having some of my Arizona green tea, so hold on just a second. But, yeah. So, it wasn't, that wasn't happening. Um, so, I just, uh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I was, I was doing that this morning. I think I finished up around like... I got done like around 8 a.m. or something like that. Try to lay down for like... I think it was like two to three hours. Um... But, uh... But yeah, basic, basically I was... I was For all intents and purposes, I was up most of the morning. Just, you know, getting my apartment finished up. And then... Then they, uh, they ended up showing up. So they ended up showing up, and it seemed to go okay. Um, they basically did the things that they did um, all the all the past times. They did an inspection. They just just did a quick once over, checked my uh, smoke detectors, make sure they made sure they worked, and and that was it. And that was that. Um, one big thing though. One big thing though that uh, the landlady pointed out was um, um I got a I've got a bunch of furniture. I got a bunch of unused furniture that I guess she seems to think is blocking the patio door. I have to get those cleared out. So, but, I mean, like I said, otherwise, everything else went okay. Um, so, at some point before next week when she comes back, I gotta have all this uh, unused furniture out of there. So, they can, so the, uh, she said it was like a fire hazard or something like that, but, uh, or so, um, so the fire department people can quickly get to the patio door or something like that. I can't remember exactly what she said. Um, uh, but the, um, the big problem I saw with that is, is, um, if you guys have watched me stream, I, or for the, and for those that don't know how I stream, I stream sitting on the floor. And, um, I have, a, and, um, I'm doing this sitting on the floor right in front of my couch. You know, the one I, the one I, you know, normally sit on. Um... I hope to hell that she wasn't including that, including that couch. You know, because like I said, the unused furniture I got, I could, I mean, I'll probably have to wait a while till my back and shoulders recover some before doing it. But you know, I could, you know, I can probably move, I can move most, if not all, that into my bedroom. So problem solved there. The problem is, uh, if she was actually including my uh, my couch, then um. Then uh, my days of content creation might be at an end because I, I mean, I have to have it. And uh, I don't, and I, otherwise, basically, I would end up having to overhaul my entire living room. And, and you know, just, just, just to make it work. And, you know, for those that don't know, my shoulders are shot. My lower back is shot. You know, that's like a damn TV I gotta move, that's a TV stand I have to move, the computer, the end table, you know, and all that. And 
even then, for me to feasibly do that, my uh, my TV and end table and all that would be right in, would be uh, right in front of the uh, patio door. Then that's the only way I could make it work. So, so I guess I'll find out next week. I'll find out next week uh, what she says. And like I said, I'm hoping hell that I don't have to move my couch all the way back against the wall because I've I've had it um, some odd years ago. That was how I had my living room. I was uh, I was a, a fair distance away from the TV, but the problem is, it was just a waste of it was it was basically a waste of effort having my couch all the way back there, because eventually I'll end up uh, I'll end up sitting fairly close to the C- TV so I can get a better view of it. So I figured, why not just scooch my couch, you know, all the way up since this is how I want to you know this is how I want to watch TV now. You know, but I, anyway, I'm kind of. I'm kind of babbling on here, so, but basically, uh, next week, next week we'll probably find out whether or not, whether or not I'll have to, I'll either, uh, or whether or not, whether or not I'll be, uh, be, whether or not I'll be able to create content. It's like, God damn, my English, it seems English is my second language right now. <sighs> I got I got to turn that up a little bit. I can hardly hear. Yeah, I can hardly hear. Okay, but anyway, um but again, uh no stream on Sunday. So just had to sleep in some because I didn't get shit for sleep the morning during the morning. Uh, but later on, later on, um, outside of my stream window, um, just play some gems of war, off and on. So, but uh, one other big problem I had today and this morning that I ha- that I had since yesterday and I think the day before as well is freaking lag problems. I mean, it's like a five to five to ten second wait between battles. So that got pretty annoying. Um, and in, in Gems of War, there's like a, a brand new kingdom that came out. It's a new week, um, a whole bunch of new different things to do. I kind of got started on it, but I again, the uh, the constant lag, it, it was just too much. So I ended up just bailing out of that. But But I, like, like I said, I should be able to stream tonight. Or I, sh- I should be able to stream today, excuse me. So I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to work on it then. So. Uh, but otherwise, one thing I did do, one thing I did do last night, um, I, I just had a hanker to play some fighting games, so I just uh, went ahead and played some Fantasy Strike. And now uh, this is kind of an interesting game because mechanically, I freaking love it. It just there's there's no motion inputs or anything like that. Um, all the special moves that you see in games like Street Fighter and I think Killer Instinct and whatnot, it's all it's, it could all be done with the push of a button in this game. But um, a huge drawback with uh, Fantasy Strike though, the freaking aesthetics. Oh my God, it's like lore story and all that it just it it's like it it's like the game devs went under the assumption that nobody has ever watched tv in their entire lives or something or you know they seem to think that their audience doesn't go on the internet or something but yeah it oh and uh and let me rewind back a little bit um i'm pretty much going to be repeating myself here um, just for those that have seen my other cast, so. But yeah, like I said, it's this lore, story, aesthetics. It, it pretty, it's very eye rolling. You know, very, you know, just really grating. Cringe worthy, cringe worthy. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Cringe worthy. Yeah, it just. Oh. I mean, I. 
I mean, I had my heyday with it, played it fairly often. In fact, uh, Fantasy Strike was the, uh, the very first fighting game I played. Played, um, when I decided to, when I decided to take it up again. After not, after not consistently playing a fighting game in 30 years, so... And then, otherwise, just, um, otherwise, aside from that, just, just did some, um, just did some slobbing and napping, watching stuff. And uh, another thing that came up, too, um, another YouTube channel that I watch, it's, it's called Wooly Versus. And they'll, um, they'll do, they'll play various random fighting games. Um, but they're, uh, It's kind of hard to explain, but uh, I think Wooly Versus was a channel I think was out ever since YouTube first came out. I don't, I don't know a whole lot about them, but they're uh, I think they were the kind that just they'll play they'll play stuff at random. I believe they also they also run a channel called Hold Back to Block. I think they do like fighting game documentaries and whatnot. So. But I'll watch them from time to time. But uh, this time around, I think yesterday, they um, they actually start. They actually took up playing one of my all-time favorite fighting games, the Black Heart. Now, when I when I mention this one, I'm talking about the original, original, original one. Um, it was made. It was uh, it was start. The project was started. It was started by one guy, like pretty much the entire game was made by one single guy. I think his name is Andreas. No, I want to say Andreas Wallenweeder, but no, that's Andreas Borgi. Yeah, that was that's that's his full that's his name. Andreas Borgi, but yeah, one guy made this entire fighting game whereas most other games, especially, you know, like Street Fighter or whatnot, you know, they're often made with, you know, huge teams of devs. You have the state, you know, the the battle, you know, the battle department, the stage department, the lore department, the graphics department, the animation department, you know, and so on and so forth. You know, it's all departmentalized, but, but not with Blackheart. All of it was done by one guy. So, but yeah, it's, it's one of my, but like I said, it's one of my all-time favorite fighting games. But again, I'm talking about the original version. Um, they did a. It came out recently with a 10-year anniversary version. I didn't care for it at all. It, first and foremost, they pitched up all the they pitched up all the uh, voices and sound effects. It, it, so it just sounds it's like it's like they all inhaled a little bit of helium or something. It just, ugh. I mean, I guess if I ever listened to uh, Billy Joel's very very first album, it's probably what it would have sounded like. I've never heard the album, but that they uh they pitched up his vocals. I mean, it, it's to see uh the trivia on that album, but like I said, I haven't heard it. But like I going back to the original topic, um, you know, so but I figure you know what the heck, you know, after watching this, after watching this video of them playing, I figured might as well get back in, you know, might as well give it another go. Um, aesthetically. I still don't like it as much. I still wish I there was a way I could procure easily procure the original. You know, because I mean the the ten year anniversary version it's got a. Uh, hang on, I got. Oh, but uh. Fluff, I think that's the word I'm looking for. Fluff. Like uh, you can do uh, you can do, you can do tag battles. You can do a. Uh, you can even do party battles. Like you can have as many as uh, four players, with four controllers, fighting each other. I think it can be like a free for all. They're trying to add a. They're trying to, trying to add a Super Smash Brothers aspect to it. Which no. No, I mean. I think the most they should have done with that game, is add an online mode. And for um, for what's basically a ghetto game like the Black Card, I. I would say um, I wouldn't even be picky about the netcode too much. You know, it wouldn't have you know it wouldn't have to have rollback. 
rollback netcode. You know, which is considered the creme de la creme of uh, netcodes out there. Although, you know, man, Fantasy Strike, when I was playing online on it, I mean, yeah, I guess rollback works great. Um, but, you know, if your opponent is... If they're playing a hut, if they're playing inside of a hut in Mongolia or something, the lag's still going to be terrible. You know, so... And I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, you know what, I mean, again, for a, you know, for a lo-fi game like the Black Heart, I wouldn't be picky about the netcode, just something that works, you know. So, but, um, but yeah, um, but chances are I, I might actually play the Black Heart more in the future, but like I said, it's, it's not the, it's not the game it once was. So, they, they try to modernize this one. Um, yeah, I won't, I, won't, I won't bring it up. I could probably make a whole video just on that alone. But, I'll, or I'll just, just the short version. Um, I did watch a, I did watch a little tiny bit of an HD remake of probably one of my, probably my all-time favorite video game franchise, Legacy of Kane. I watched the, a uh, little bit of, uh, the, uh, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. And, uh, they, and they, act, it sounded like they actually brought in the original voice actors. But yeah, they brought in the original voice actors, like Michael Bell. I didn't get, I didn't go so far. As to if they if they had a replacement for Tony J, he was another voice actor that was in that game. But I'm kind of afraid to, but yeah, like I said, the whole HD remake it just it didn't look right. Yeah. So, so yeah, so like, but just like the Black Heart, the original franchise is my favorite. I don't really care for the HD remake. It's like they're trying to improve on perfection. That's the phrase I was looking for. They're trying to improve on perfection. The Black Heart, the 10-year anniversary version, same thing. They were trying to improve on perfection. I mean, the game was fucking perfect the way it was. And you know, and I'm not trying to be a hipster either. It's just, I, I genuinely don't like what they did with the game. So. But, again... But like I said, um, I don't. I'm, I'm definitely not shelving this game. I mean, I mean, I, I like it enough to keep it in my Steam library and to play it from time to time. But I don't think I like the game enough to play it consistently. Uh, same with Fantasy Strike as well. Although, although I, I like it less than I like the Black Heart. So, the most I'll probably do on a on. Fantasy Strike is like trying to do an arcade mode run or something like that. Like a, a story mode run. Kind of the same thing I did with the Blackheart. Just do like a story mode. Pick a character and do story mode. Something like that. But, alrighty. Um, so, I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Um, I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say, so... And um, I got a feeling this is going to be a fairly large uh, video file size, probably about one gig or so. So it's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this cast early, because it's probably going to take a it's probably going to take a fair amount of time to upload. So, but otherwise, but otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.